Hello everybody and welcome to my favorite time of year, winter shelling. What do y'all say we go for a walk and oh, look at that. And find a body. It is definitely different from it's a flat from daytime shelling. However, it can be pretty exhilarating with the the crisp. Oh, look at the shark eye! The crisp breezes. Oh, it's a nice one. No one around. You can just walk and shell. Look at all the shells. Lots of fighting conks, lots of broken shells. Oh, nice. That's a huge bonnie. The shark eye here? Yep. When you're shelling like this in the dark, you only have this little circle of influence. It is so easy to miss something. Well, there's a, a lightning whelk. Full of sand. Good spot here. If you're like my dad and love shelling and all things beachy, Please hit the like button and consider subscribing. That's a pretty big gaudy. I had to bring it up to the spectacle so I could see. That is a nice gaudy. Oh, look at this nutmeg. <laughs> look at the dark colors on that one. It's hard holding them when you have these other shell shells in your hand. There's a beautiful base scallop. Felt like it was gonna roll right off my fingertip there. Let's look ahead. Another good spot here. There's a looks like a cool immature fighting conk. Oops. All right, time to transfer them. All right. Have those in the shell bag. Is that a whole one? Oh, so close. But that's what you're looking for, especially the Genonias. Just some spots, a little piece. Uh oh. Here we go. Make up for it. There's a whole one. Get them all. Another nice shark eye. Oh, so close. Ah, tulip. So, shelling conditions. Calm. Nice scallop. About 52 degrees. Probably be a little cooler once the sun comes up. Beautiful time to be out shelling though. Looks like a bonnie. Oh, nice spots there. There are tons of olives and lots of fighting conks. So, oh, <laughs> a corded olive. That one is going in the pocket. Look at that, a corded olive. So you can go through and, you know, 
Just pick through the shells you want. I know we have used a lot of fighting conks in the past, but a lot of these are dinged or, you know, missing a lot of the shell. Well, that was pretty cool. A corded olive. Ooh, a tulip. Nice. Beautiful, hey? Nice colors. And it gets you fired up. Love banded tulips. You see a dark olive up ahead. That must have just washed up. So I decided to turn around and walk back just because it seemed the shelling was a little bit better where we started. I didn't want to get too many miles away and then have to turn around. So no matter what time of the day you're shelling, always take a moment to check areas of flowing water. Because not only are they going to be bringing in shells, those waves will be bringing in shells, but with that current, it's going to be exposing shells. And you never know when you might have some spots sticking out of the sand. So the water goes back out right there. It's kind of cooled up here. Shells are still wet. <laughs> Bracelet. <laughs> oh, and a bonnie. And a bonnie. Nice. Looks like a nutmeg. Sure enough. Look at that. Oh, the broken. So close. Well, we're going to keep it and we'll put that one in the shell garden. Shark eye. Okay, the last one went in the garden. Oh, another one! <laughs> Teasing us! Let's keep looking for some spots. Right at the top of the circle, I see something. Oh, oh, oh. That's a nice shark eye. Wow. Huh. Oh, it is. An Alfie. Nice. Nice alphabet cone. Come on, spots. Oh, look at this tiny little Bonnie here. Oh, it's a nutmeg. See, when you're shining the light, you gotta, you pay attention. You can easily walk past stuff. I thought that was uh, a teeny little bonnet. A 
so I'm not making there. Shark eye. Oh, here's a bonnet. There's a little shark eye. Huh, we haven't found a, a telon this week. And there's a telon. Wow, look at the shells up there. All right, how is that for putting some light on the subject? I think the, the other light was going a little dim. Nice scallop. Nutmeg. There's a nutmeg out there, but there's water here. Try to reach out there. Oh, and I look down. Ah, nice. Banded tulip. Oh, and another one. Oh, that one's a little bit bigger. Wow. Okay, spots. Oh, this is the spot for banded tulips. All right, hands getting full. Let's transfer, be right back. All right, have a hand free. There's nutmeg. Look at that, another tulip. Nutmeg, gotta be spots here. Shark eye. Another banded tulip. Oh, look at that spot up there. I sure am glad we turned around. There's a lot more shells here. Just gotta oh, look at the colors. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Little shark eye here? A little one. And a helmet. Sure enough. Pretty cool find. Spots. Looking for spots. These nutmegs are distracting us. Oh, look at that shark eye. Another one. Huge. I had a little case of the dropsy there, so I didn't have the camera on. There's a chestnut turban. Found a, a little tulip, a little teeny tiny one. There's a bonnie waiting for us. All right, so like that tulip spot, had my handful of shells. I thought, okay, we're gonna put them in the shell bag and look here. And I'm looking around, there's a bonnie spot. So I picked up a couple. Here's one. 
Another one. Look up ahead. Oh, a nice coral frag. Oh, a nice one. Make sure. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, there's Bonnie though. Bonnie's. Careful, don't want to get too wet. Nice lightning well. You know, here's, I mentioned it in other videos, but here's a tip. It is a guarantee that when you have shelling like this, you will definitely miss shells. Merricks? So while you're walking out, you'll be picking up some shells. And then on your way back, you'll be picking up some shells. Lightning well. Bonnie. And it looks like a Bonnie in the shell pile. Oh, well, no, it's not. A flat, though. Nice. All right, I set down the shell bag. Let's see if we can find it. And look, look on the way back for anything we may have missed. Scallops. Oh, oops, dropped the flat. Look at that baby, your nice one. Oh, there we go, spots. Oh, teasing us. And a nutmeg. Alright, where there's a piece of a J, there's a whole one. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Hopefully she'll find us. Alright, it was break time. Grab the Snickers bar. Breakfast of Champions. Of course that's coffee, but I don't have any on me. Found a shark eye and a bonnet and some nutmegs. All right, so as I was saying, I had that Snickers bar for breakfast. Then I had to do a little maintenance. Oh, look at this, side by side. So it was standing here. Looking down. And I saw some shells. Get this. 
packed sand, you really got to look for the spots popping out at you. Just a little, a little piece. So as I'm walking along, checking the water, I had to set the bag down because I wanted to see what this was. Oh, it's just a piece. I thought it was a buried lightning well. Oh, and look at out there. Bonnie. Okay, I'm gonna walk around. In the winter, I, oh, here's Bonnie too. I do not like getting wet, especially when it's dark. Hopefully no waves come up. All right, we're, there it is. That's a big one too. Let's set this one down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we walked out here and, oh boy. <laughs> we'll put it in the shell garden. Uh-oh, water coming up. See a piece of a tulip and a shark eye right in front. Another shark eye right here. A little bit bigger one. Pan around. Make sure we're, well, can't make sure, but you know, you try not to miss anything. And grab this nutmeg. Well, ain't that something? Oh, wait, not the nutmeg. All we've been seeing are broken cockles, and we found a whole one. That's pretty cool. Oh, and a bonnie. never know what these nourishment projects are going to bounce up on the, the beach. I think there's another baby here. Sure enough. All right, had to set the shell bag down because as we're walking along, let's see if I can find them. Okay, let's start with a Whopper nutmeg, the lightning welt. And a couple of Bonnies over here. else oh, so close but see that's what you're looking for there's Mirex walk over there Look at that. Look at that nutmeg. Gorgeous. The bonnie. Looks like a pretty nice shark eye right here. All right, let's go find the shell bag and keep walking. I stop and look around just to be aware of my surroundings. A couple nutmegs. Mirrors. A couple 
So, okay, that one was broken. Well, this one. Shark eye. Well, that one's broken. Put that one in the garden. There's a whole one. A couple of them. There's one. There's another one. A little nutmeg. Alright, we've been walking for a little bit. Found a few things, but I wanted to set the bag down to pick up this turkey wing. Waves are coming up. Okay, folks. I had just set the bag down to pick up a nutmeg. And what was I talking about? Spots. See that in the sand? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's just wait a minute. Let's pick up these nutmegs. Uh, what do you think? Okay, I'm gonna go deep like it's a whole one. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so close. Man. It's getting excited there. They're here. They are here. Nice mirrors. All right, put these in the shell bag and keep walking. Mature fighting conch. Here's a nice scallop. Oh, oh, look at that. Just washed up. Nice Eastern Murex. I mean, that's a cool shell, but see, you just need to keep walking. You never know when a, a Genonia will wash up like that. There's a shark eye. Step across. Pan around and look. Oh, spots! <laughs> Been talking about it all morning. There we go. Our Genonia. Oh, wow. <laughs> Goosebumps. Oh, man. Oh. Been talking about spots. Found a couple pieces. That last one, it was like, all right, I'm gonna go into the sand because I'm thinking there's one there. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna set her down. There's a nutmeg. Wow. Oh, so cool, what's that? Whew. Here I was thinking that was a big one. All right, let's grab this other nutmeg here and keep walking. Oh, love that scallop, love that scallop. Well, I just came upon this spot, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of Blind Pass or, or Bowman's Beach. Nice scallops here I want to grab. I mean, look at big old shell pile. Just lots of small pieces. I wonder if there's anything in there. <laughs> okay, so here I am putting a shark eye in the in the shell bag. It's hand down, make you holla. 
<laughs> oh, what a morning. Oh, so exciting. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and click on the rectangle for the next Beach Woman Dad video.